What is up everybody, Blue Dog 35 here. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to paint your car in Forza 6. Um, I'm not the greatest painter, but uh, I have a few friends who don't even understand or know how or whatever with the um, just anything on the painting uh, front. So I will, uh, I will be their guiding light. So I'm going to use a NASCAR as uh, I guess um, template because they're usually symmetrical from left to right and all that stuff. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and go directly into paint. Actually, one thing you can do is if you already like the paint scheme on the car, um, like if you like this blue and gray thing with the, uh, the Dale Burnfart car, you can go into apply decals and it, the paint stays the same. Um, just all the decals come off and you can put, you know, your, uh, you know, penises and all that stuff on the side. Um, but we're not going to do that because we don't want to get banned from YouTube and or Forza. <clears throat> At least not yet. <sighs> that video will come someday. <laughs> but no, we're going to go into paint. And we're going to go to paint body. Um, and as you can see, if you just select a color, it goes from, you know, nationwide is on your side to... Uh, you know, pretty much any color you want. You can do, uh, you know, baby shit green. You can do, eh, that's more baby shit green. But um, you can also do all these special colors. Uh, most of these are able to um, uh, change. Like, yeah, that's perfectly, uh, <laughs> perfectly good English here. Uh, so, like, if you want a white car, uh, a black car, anything in between. So there's matte, like a gray. Um, change that to uh, matte white, and then you do the hue, and uh, you know you can do your own special blue if you want, which is cool. Which is uh, probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So we're gonna fine tune our blue here. My blue is usually a lighter blue, but at the same time not super light. So I usually kind of go for like at the true blue for Krylon, if that makes any sense. Uh, the same color my little 6x6 six six, uh, RC truck is. So that's a little, eh, it's a little on the dark side for me, but it's still decent. So I think we're going to go with that. <clears throat> uh, we're going to keep the hood and everything else uh, the same color. Um, I don't know why I'm kind of a carbon fag like this, so we're going to go ahead and make them flat carbon. Um, I don't know if you can see the carbon detail in there. Depends on if YouTube uh, encodes the video right this time. Um, but uh, we will save to the current car, and that will save our uh, our blue and our carbon wheels. And after an eternity of uh, saving, and we say hello to Pitco as he gets online, um, we have, uh, this is the paint tool for Forza. Um, so you have front, left, top, right, rear bumper. Um, I don't know why it skipped there, but as you can see, it is capable of doing <laughs> smooth transitions. Um, Sometimes you'll have spoiler, like if you have a car with a giant wing, and uh, sometimes you're, you're able to place things on the spoiler, but uh, obviously this one you cannot because it's just got a little blade. Uh, so we're just going to start off with the left side, at least. I usually do. Um, so we'll go to apply vinyl shape. You have a whole bunch to work with. You have primitives, you have community vinyls, um... You have gradients, stripes, tears, uh, racing icons, which, I mean, they're generic, but, you know, you, uh, you, you work with what you can. And flames, and blah, 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 and all these things, and then you get into the letters, um, and I don't know if that's all that's left. Yeah, so we're just going to go... Pardon the clicking. We're just going to go, uh, I think I'm going to do stripes. 
Um, this is the one I used on my other uh, car. Um, so, I mean, why don't we just replicate that? Actually, you know what? Here, let's do this one. Let's see. Um, really, all you need to do is get it right on one side, and then you can actually duplicate it. So, blue and white is my colors, usually. So, we're going to go ahead and finger this out. We can do size, front to back, uh, up to down. I don't like it that way, so I'm actually going to transmogrify it this way. Um, we'll see what we're doing here. I don't want it that way. Um, see, it follows the body lines, or it doesn't follow the body lines. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate it. And this is this is just a very very simple um, paint scheme here. So we're gonna zoom in. I want it to be about the same as the. Um, is the slope of the window if that makes any sense so it's got to uh, it's got to spin back this way a little bit and then you just kind of let it do its thing um, it goes all grainy when you move it and then it'll reload and get better so and that's because I'm way zoomed in also <clears throat> So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move it back a little because it's lined up now. And, um, I don't know, do we want it? No, because if we put it up there, then it interferes right there. So, let's get it one with the body line, huh? There we go. And then... There's a little covering up from the wheel, but it's all good. It'll go right over under the American ethanol gas hole, and it'll highlight part of the valence on the bottom. So, actually, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I like this a little bit better. It goes with the line of the valence, kind of. We'll rotate it back just a tiny bit. There we go. That's close enough. One more. Yeah, there we go. So, we got it lined up with the uh, the line of the valence right there. And, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so, we have that done on this side. Um, and then, like, let's say you wanted to add... I don't know, let's say you wanted to add something to the front like it's a little bare. So let's do... Um, let's put something like this up front. And it's the same as before, you just kind of gotta get it to where you like it, where you want it. Um, I think we're gonna put it as even as we can um, this way so like this let's thin it out a little and then extend it um, we don't want it as even as we can because then it doesn't line up with this the that does but the line itself doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and line it up with this guy. I'm just doing it by eye. I'm not being all mathematician perfect like. Yeah, that's good enough for me. So that lines up. And... I don't really care for it like that there because it doesn't necessarily line up with the body line for the vent for the fake vent so we might just end up scrapping this one 
Um, or you know what we could do? We could always shorten it up a little and put it down here just as a little flare. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? And then it's got like the kind of like the tribal look to it, you know? Put it down here and there we go. Yeah. I don't particularly care for it, but let's just pretend that it looks good. <clears throat> I generally uh, bias my paint schemes towards the rear anyway, so um, I usually do a white roof, but that's just me. Um, so we'll just do a simple thing. Uh, let's say you get everything on one side that you want. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side. And then right here it says insert all right left. Just hit that and it'll pretty much mirror everything you did. Um, Fours has always had a little bit of an issue with its um, uh, left to right. So as you can see, this doesn't quite match exactly with... Um, the valence, the line where the rivets are. So we're just going to move it up a little. Uh, it was like literally two clicks. And then this doesn't, uh, it, it's hanging over the edge, I guess you could say. So we're just going to go ahead and put that there. Um, one more thing that you're going to run into issues with is the left to right here. So like if, see how there's a, uh, see how there's a line right there under the brake line if you or under the brake light if you were to try to take like a um, like a square and make it like this and line it up like that's lined up with the top and over here it's gonna be off by a couple clicks so if you want it absolutely perfect you're gonna have to try and figure out you know, whether you want it to be perfect or to, to look good from afar. So like there and there, see how it's off a little bit. Um, but I'm not one to do that on the back anyway. Um, but you might, you never know. Uh, usually I just put it uh, black or something because then it doesn't show all the grime and dust and stuff. And to me, these NASCARs look good with a, uh, a black, black ass. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to move on to uh, the number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my 35 that I use. So this is the 35 that I use. And we'll get the size right. And we'll uh, we'll find a place that we like we like it on the door. Uh, it doesn't have to be way up here. It doesn't have to be way back here. It can be perfectly in the center. It can be wherever. But as you can see on the left, the bottom left of the screen, there's like coordinates going on down there. Um, that that is kind of what you use to make things symmetrical after you've done the left to right thing. Because here's what I'll do. I'll show you what it does. So let's just put it right here. If you go to the other side and you hit that, then it's backwards. Then you have a 53. And it's bad news bears. So what you do is you come over here. And you remember 2841. And I'm going to go ahead and press the left stick. And press X. And that'll copy my 35 in the same size that it is to the clipboard. And we just remember 2841. Come on over here, press Y, and then eh, eh, 2841. And then boom, it is in the same place, left to right. There we go. And then we can go ahead and do the roof. And just make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and, uh, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. I have a Goodyear vinyl somewhere in here. I saw it when I, yep, yeah, there it is. 
So we're going to go ahead, bring it over here. Like so. So 335,450. There's 450. 335. It doesn't look all that right. Uh, it's a little too low. So that's just the. It's basically, it's like two clicks off for, uh, uh, from left to right. Forza has always had these issues. Um, I, I remember it being an issue in the second Forza and every one since. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and as an example, like for a primary sponsor or, you know, something like if you have something that you want to put on the hood, um, I, like, I get the Venture Brothers, uh, Venture Industries logo, um, just rotate it, uh, or, you know, put it, rotate it to your desire, wherever you'd like, move it, make it smaller, bigger, whatever, and then generally when it says zero for the Y axis, axis, uh, zero is centered. So you can choose to put it off center. You can, you know, it's your, it's your thing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna sound like Bob Ross a lot, but it's your, uh, it's your deal. You do what you want. This is just to help. And the guineas are making an absolute mess. Can you guys stop that, please? I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, we have Venture Industries on the hood, and we have our 35 on the side. Um. And then, like, you know, let's, uh, let's say you want to put, like, um, I don't know, let's say you want to put B of Goodrich on the, on the quarter panel, I don't know. Um, you can do this with other decals that you have, with store-bought decals, with whatever. See, the only thing is if we put that, it blanks out our paint scheme. So we're not going to do BF Goodrich, we're going to back out of here and we're, let's do Firestone, even though we have Goodyear tires. <laughs> you know, it'll be a blasphemous paint job. So then we copy, and we go over, oh, no, that's the wrong button again. There we go. And then we go over here, and boom. So even though that won't fit all the greatest, you know, whatever, who cares? We're just having fun. We don't make mistakes. We have happy little decal accidents. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, just, just basically remember the coordinates on the side, um, for, you know, 2841, you know, switch it around and use, make, make use of the copy, like the clipboard. So if you want to do that, you hit the left stick down, um, and then hold X or press X and that'll copy that to the clipboard. So then you can go to a new layer and paste that down and then boom, I got another 35, and then boom, I got another 35, right, and then boom, <laughs> I got another 35, so we can, you know, we can make copies of that, um, another thing you can do is, like, let's say, let's say you make the, the side perfect, let's say this is exactly what I want, but it's just off a little bit, and I don't want to edit everything all together, um, you can, uh, hit the right trigger to select and you can move them all at once and you can just do it like let's say um, I want to move everything but the little one at the rear the quarter panel um, we can do that so we can go Ooh, look at that everything's moving it's like the car is moving but the decals are staying still or the other way around <laughs> um, <coughs> and I don't know it's just little features like that um, you know, let's say we like where everything's placed, but we want to move all the stuff underneath. So, like, the, these guys right here, we can do that. Let's say we want to put it on top of the valence or whatever. We can adjust the height. We can adjust, uh, the size. We can adjust, uh, the spin if we wanted to. So, 
Um, there's, you know, there's a lot you can do. Um, I'm just hitting B to cancel. Uh, that's why it's popping back into place. Um, but no, I know this has been rambling, but I, I really hope that, uh, something has, has been learned. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you knew all this, then I apologize. But, um, if you like this video, please rate, subscribe, like, comment, send me death threats. Check out the links in the description. And, uh, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.